Welcome to the Dark Psychology World Channel. As a quick heads up, this video is all about fun and entertainment, so don't take it too seriously. Now, have you ever noticed traits in yourself that seem to blend both extroversion and introversion? Introverts tend to focus on their inner thoughts and feelings, while extroverts thrive on external stimulation. But guess what? You can fall somewhere in between these two sides and even shift along the spectrum. So, Let's dive into a quiz to discover where you stand. Remember to keep track of your answers. We'll tally them up later. At the end of the video, we'll reveal your results. Let's get started. 1. Someone shares their personal woes with you during a five-minute conversation. You. A half attentively listen. B. Interrupt and say you're too busy. C. Empathize with them. Work can wait. D. Engage in a long chat. 2. You arrive at an unfamiliar party, and your friend is missing. You dart out and text your friend. B. Awkwardly look for them. C. Sit on a couch and chat with someone. D. Barge into a fun-loving circle. 3. On an airplane, you're seated next to a stranger. You read, put on headphones, and sleep. B. Pretend they don't exist. C. Feel them out for conversation. D. Chat with them throughout the flight. 4. Disagreement with a colleague or classmate on a group project. U. Stay silent even if you disagree. B. Speak up but waver if they don't stop. C. Defend your point of view strongly. D. Rally up the team for discussion. 5. Free weekend schedule. U. Enjoy the day with no plans at home. B. Walk to the park alone. C. Consider a lunch date with a friend. D. Pack your schedule with friends' plans. 6. Facing an important decision with grave consequences. U. A suffer from analysis paralysis. B. Relinquish your position to someone else. C. Make a decision but unsure of next steps. D. Decide quickly and delegate roles. 7. Your friend has bad habits. U. Avoid conflict and say nothing. B. Gently tell them about it. C. Call them out for their actions. D. Express anger with conviction. Chuckles. 8. Is it easy for people to get to know you? Uh, no, even close friends don't know everything. B. Only my closest friends. C. I think so, at least to friends and family. D. I post about my life on social media daily. 9. Can you have fun by yourself? Only when I'm alone. B. Yes. I love my alone time. C. Prefer being with a close friend or two. D. No, I need to be around people. 10. Meeting someone new for the first time. Say hi in part ways, not into small talk. B. Have a short, casual conversation. C. Talk at length but avoid obscure topics. D. Act as if you're best friends. Let's break down those results. Group A. You're a textbook introvert. Small talk isn't your thing, and you prefer a small circle of close friends. Solitude is your sanctuary, and extended socializing drains you. Weekends spent pursuing solitary hobbies at home? That's your jam. Group B. You're somewhere in the middle but leaning toward introversion. Deep conversations with close friends are your preference and unfamiliar social situations can be tiring. But hey, with the right people, any day can be a blast. Group C, you're more extroverted. Meeting new people and exploring different walks of life excite you. Parties and gatherings? You're there. Plus, you're self-assured and idealistic, a great partner for the more introverted folks. Group D, you're the life of the party. No introverted bones here. You thrive on social interactions, and the thought of a weekend at home is foreign to you. People-centric hobbies and unwavering loyalty to friends define you. So, which group resonates with you? Let us know in the comments. And if you enjoyed the quiz, don't forget to like and share this video. Thanks for watching, and catch you next time.